What's up YouTube, Ryan here with 1517 Films and I've got a real quick announcement for you. Now I've been away from YouTube far too long, and mainly it's because I don't have the use of natural light. It's, it's winter time and, and the sun is down by the time I get home from work and I've really been racking my brain trying to figure out what I can do to put content out there for the people who follow this channel. And so what I've decided upon is a schedule in which every other week I will be bulk filming episodes to release on Mondays and Wednesdays. So uh, even if I couldn't film when I wanted to, I've got a couple of episodes in the bag and I can put them out Monday and Wednesday. Today and tomorrow, actually, I'm filming as many episodes as I can to get a head start on that, still to release on Monday and Wednesday. So I've gotten ready. I'm just about to get ready to sit down and do some Story of Our Faith episodes. I'm bringing that back. Uh, I'm getting ready to work on the Lutheran liturgy episodes that I've started, and of course current affairs, current events, things that are going on, uh, review of, of other Christian content in, in other Christian traditions, all through the lens of historic biblical Christianity, and contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. But I've also come up with another idea. So I've launched the Lutheran Lemonade Podcast. This will be a once-a-week podcast on SoundCloud that you can find at soundcloud.com backslash Lutheran Lemonade. Now, <laughs> Lutheran Lemonade is a bit of a fun name, and I'll unpack that for you, and it's kind of tied to this. You can see I've got some alcohol out in front of me. I've got some brandy, I've got some bitters, I've got the cherries, I've got the 7-Up, I've got the sugar cubes, got an old-fashioned glass. Every now and then, I enjoy an old-fashioned. I'm sorry, I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> Old fashions are what we drink. But the, so the Lutheran Lemonade podcast is named, well, for beer, actually, even though I've got the brandy old fashioned ingredients in front of me right now. They look better than a can of Miller Lite. But um, Lutheran Lemonade, it's what we call beer. It's kind of a tongue in cheek reference to beer. And so normally uh, on this channel, you'll hear me say, contending for the faith, once for all delivered to the saints. And that comes from the book of Jude. Lutheran lemonade to make glad the heart of man. That comes to us from Psalm 104, verse 15. A reference to wine as a gift from God to make glad the heart of man. That's right, alcohol consumption is permissible for God's people. Drunkenness, not so much, but alcohol consumption is. And in the Lutheran tradition, theology had been discussed over a pint, over a beer, over some Lutheran lemonade. So I'm inviting you to join me once a week on Thursdays at soundcloud.com when I release the Lutheran Lemonade podcast. And if lighting allows, I'll set the camera down. You'll see the big microphone out in front of me and because I'm is be right here because I'm recording for audio purposes only and I'll be having a beer and we'll be talking about theology. So in addition to the content that I'll be bringing on YouTube, you can also find me at soundcloud.com backslash Lutheran Lemonade. I invite you, if your conscience permits, to grab your favorite drink, sit down, and engage in some good, solid biblical theology. Now, today is Thursday, and I have every intention uh, of tonight. It'll be different, because tonight I'm going to record it, and I'll release it probably tomorrow or Friday. But uh, we'll be talking about the wedding at Cana. I think that's a great place to start Lutheran Lemonade, because the, the premise of it, to make glad the heart of man, uh, is a direct reference to wine, but what also makes glad the heart of man? the gospel. And there is so much gospelly goodness in Jesus' first miracle ever at the wedding at Cana when he turned water into wine. So I'm inviting you to join me at soundcloud.com backslash Lutheran Lemonade to have a drink and let's talk about the goodness of our Savior and the gospel that makes glad the heart of man.